Okay, so quickly show you my Ocado delivery. This doesn't include really much veg or fruit. I'll show you that tomorrow. Today is Tuesday. Um, yeah, so we've got spring greens, we've got carrots, and we've got Maris Piper potatoes. These were split open for some reason in a bag. Um, three for ten on the fish. So I've got two lots of the chunky breaded cod fillets. We really like these. The kids really like them. And they tend to eat the bigger portion. Um, and then some mini breast fillets for a meal this week. Um, I've got one cucumber and then I actually got bacon. I haven't bought bacon in a really long time. Purely because Graham usually makes it but he just hasn't had the time recently. And we just haven't had bacon around but I really fancied it. So I thought I would try this one. It's the Naked Bacon. Um, these uh, were two for five pounds so I got the unsmoked. They didn't have smoked. I would have got that otherwise. And then they had the uh, streaky uh, bacon rashes as well. These are nitrate free, which is really actually hard to find. Um, so there's no no sort of nasties, nitrate free, um, basically no preservatives, which is how, how we kind of make our own. Um, so I got, they were basically five for three pounds, I think, but for some reason we're missing one. So um, yeah, these are just these yogurts for the kids. We've got two peach, one strawberry and one banana. Um, and then I got three for three pounds on the Alpro. I haven't had Alpro in absolute ages. So I thought I would give it a go again. Um, I've got hazelnut milk, really fancy that. And that's so nice in coffee and like cereal and porridge. And then I got the Simply Plain yogurt and then these two pack of the dessert moments, which basically tastes like a chocolate dessert but it's dairy free. Some ham, some pepperoni, these are from sandwiches and for pizzas. Oh, my pizza, shall I say, I'm the only one that has pepperoni. Um, super seed spread and a 50-50, one will go in the freezer. I got Graham some of his squash, they were on offer for the double strength orange and pineapple. Some treat stuff, we got jam tart, with these ones from Waitrose are like our absolute favorites. The pastry is so nice on them. Some jam tea cakes, I thought that was different, so I thought I'd get those and some of the minty rounds. These are like my favourite um, kind of go on the go sort of snack at the moment, mainly because I'm breastfeeding and porridge is really good for keeping up the supply and just, they call it like a breastfeed and fuel. Um, but yeah, the golden syrup and the cinnamon are my favourite, they're two for two pounds and there's two in each. Um, Bagels, I've got the um, cinnamon and raisin, and then the plain. They are the thin version, there's six in each pack, and they're already sliced, which is always a winner. Um, I've got some kids' wraps. The kids have been having these for the last few weeks, and they really like them. They're like the perfect size, and they're really soft as well. And then i got the OT mix-up. So these are actually, as you can see, new. These were new on Ocado. They were doing them buy one, get one free, so that's why I thought I would try them for the kids. Um, I'm sure Graham will probably try the chocolate flavour, but it's basically kind of like granola oats, but with <coughs> animal shapes as well, and then like fruity bits or chocolatey bits. So we've got those, and then I got quite a few of these different swartz um, sort of things. So I, I used sausage casserole yesterday, so I thought I'd get another one of those. It's really tasty, and the kids love the flavour. Garlic and herb wedges, it's like a seasoning. Creamy peppercorn sauce, I haven't had peppercorn sauce in ages. And then I thought I would try the Dauphin Wild Potato Bake. Um, it had really good reviews and they were four for two pounds, so I got those. And then I got a chicken noodle soup because this is like old school and one of the, our favorites as well. Right, we got Monster Munch, the beef flavor, six pack for a pound, and then what's it's were also a pound. Some standard staple baked beans, these are just the Waitrose version. I'm gonna do, I've got some baking to do that I wanna make. So I've got some chocolate chips. I, ideally, I like to go to Costco and get a big bag of chocolate chips. I will take a trip there, I think, next week. But um, yeah, I thought I would just get a small bag for now, a self-raising flour and plain flour. So I thought I would quickly share with you my meal plan. So today is Tuesday. Yesterday I did um, a sausage casserole and I did it in the slow cooker. It was super easy. I threw in like one of these sachets, um, our own pork bear sausages, carrots, onions and mushrooms. And then I threw in like a tin of the baby new potatoes like for five minutes last minute before I was about to serve up. Um, tonight I'm gonna do use those fish 
um, sort of cod breaded cod fillets. I'm going to do some homemade chips and some peas. Um, do that. I'm going to make some like mushy peas and normal peas. It's like our favourite to have with fish. So tomorrow I'm going to do lasagna. Um, I've actually, I'm not going to be making it. I've actually got like a big um, one that I, I made a few of them before I had the baby and I put them in the freezer and I've only used one of them up so far. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to put it out of the freezer tonight and then all you do is literally, it's in a big tray, just throw it in the oven and it's going to be done. And then I'm going to serve that with some broccoli. Um, then I've also got garlic chicken, which it uses chicken breast fillets and I am going to use this which i got out of my cupboard for some reason i've got three of these i've never actually used it before but it looks really good it's garlic chicken you pretty much just um throw the seasoning on um you can throw it on potatoes as well if you want to and i just thought it would just liven things up a little bit um it just says garlic chicken on it it's garlic parsley and a little bit of peppercorns uh, i'm gonna have that with mash and veg and then on Friday, that was for Thursday, and then on Friday we are going to have pizza, bagel pizzas. So I, um, the kids absolutely love this. So I pretty much, these are sliced already. You just open the uh, bagel slices up. They do this themselves. So they just spread on the tomato puree, cheese, toppings, whatever they want. Stick them in the grill. And it's just such a quick dinner. Like super easy they can join in as well so yeah this is a really good thing that the kids can enjoy and make with you and also right now with the three week old, three week old baby the last thing i want to do is make pizza dough and actually i don't want to kind of set myself up for trying to make pizza dough if i can't so this is a great alternative and also i'm going to serve that with the garlic and herb you can see we love garlic garlic and herb potato wedges i'm going to make some potato wedges and you just sprinkle it on these are like lifesaver at the moment just making things a little bit more interesting without buying all the ingredients um these little sachet things it's just so, super handy okay quickly show you fruit and veggie box for today this is from the green grocer this is from the farmer's market graham got me some flowers as well which is really sweet i love irises these ones um oh gypsophilia as well um yeah so bananas we've got nectarines here strawberries plums some quite little like big easy peelers apples yeah that's pretty much that and then over here we've got sweet potato parsnip haven't had parsnip in ages actually big oranges cucumber carrots uh, butternut squash we had butternut squash on sunday it was really nice actually um, oh, some brownies, little treat. We've got some big flat portobello mushrooms, um, some English plums in there, avocados, more bananas, raspberries. Oh, well, they actually look nice. Sometimes they're hit and miss because they're, they're kind of going out of season, aren't they? Um, blueberries. Uh, what have we got under here? Pears, tomatoes. I think that's pretty much it that's plenty isn't it so that is fruit and veggie boxes for the week that is pretty much our grocery haul and meal plan for this week i really hope this gives you some inspiration don't forget to follow me on pinterest um if you fancy um just finding some like pin ideas because i love pinterest and when i'm like feeding through the night i tend to just pin constantly of different recipes and all sorts so um yeah don't forget to follow me on that and obviously instagram i did post my meal plan on instagram this week for the first time in forever but yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you have and i will see you all soon